Most of us have taken down our Christmas decorations, but the holiday lives on at one man's house in Northumberland County. He's having too much fun with his display to put it away. And in this week's stop on the Pennsylvania Road, John Meyer found it's a glimpse into Pennsylvania's Christmas past. Here's our train display, and this is, in my mind, a, a trip back in time because this is what you used to find in most houses in this area at Christmas time. Mark Mance has brought his childhood back to life at his home near Sunbury. And I'll turn him on so you can see him okay. go. For him and so many others in Pennsylvania, Christmas wasn't complete without a train around the tree. But it's just part of showing what you would have found in Sunbury on any street 70 years ago, any street at all. Mark says back then, if you didn't have a train layout like this, you probably knew someone who did. He started collecting trains when his family display filled him with wonder as a boy. I still have a kid. I still like toys. <laughs> But it, it's just a lot of fun. All his trains date back decades. But this thing is running is 100 years old, and I can't run it full throttle because it will fly off the track. It will go. This is the first time in more than a decade Mark has revived this tradition, put some of his extensive collection on display. It comes as he marks two years of battling stage four cancer. In October, I said, let's celebrate life. We're alive. Let's put the trains up and, and, and really go for it. So we did. And I'm just having the ball. He wants to share a glimpse into this custom from all those years ago. But look closely at this Christmas village and you get a look into what life itself was like from the 1930s through the 50s. I bring other guys my age in here and they do the same thing I do. We just look at it and say, yeah, I remember all that good stuff. But his generation isn't the only one enjoying this. One lady brought her grandson and her, and her son she said, oh, I thought we'd be here 15 minutes. They were here for over two hours. It's easy to see how visitors here can sit for hours taking in every detail, thinking of life in another era. Toys built so long ago bring joy today. And seeing others watch in wonder means even more to Mark than all his trains. John Meyer, Newswatch 16 on the Pennsylvania Road in Upper Augusta Township.